Happy Wednesday! Holding my coins and tokens in the safest possible way is my absolute priority and since I'm ACA holder, I was happy to see Akala and Karura chains are now supported on Ledger. So today let me show how to set up a new Akala wallet using your Ledger and how to store and transfer your ACA coins on Ledger. All Ledger models Nano S, S Plus and X now support Akala and Karura so you can store on Ledger your ACA and KAR as well as all other Akala and Karura based tokens such as AUSD. Now I will show how to create a new Akala wallet using your Ledger. First we need to install Akala app on Ledger device. To do so launch Ledger Live desktop app. Now connect your Ledger to your computer and unlock your Ledger by entering your PIN code. Once your Ledger is connected and unlocked go to this manager tab and allow Ledger Manager on your Ledger device. You can see I'm using Ledger Nano S, should have bought Nano X instead as it has much greater memory for apps. Under App Catalog search Akala and you will have an option to install Akala XL app or just Akala. This version of the app is smaller but sufficient for most users so I'm gonna install this one, click install and wait for the installation to finish. Once finished you will see you have now installed Akala app on your ledger and you can also check under apps installed. And now I'm ready to go to Polkadot.js portal to set up a new Akala wallet for my ledger. But first on your ledger select Akala app and open it so that it says Akala ready. On Polkadot.js portal switch the network to Akala and first we need to change the settings so click settings and down here under manage hardware connections you will have two options. If you are using Windows select attach ledger via web USB and if you are using Mac OS select web HID. I'm using Windows so I'm gonna go with web USB. Also you need to do this either in Google Chrome or in Brave browsers. So for example Firefox does not support setting up Akala wallet via Ledger. Now let's go to accounts and again make sure on your Ledger it says Akala ready. If that's the case click this add via Ledger tab. Now a new window pops up. We are adding a new Akala account via Ledger. Here you name your new account so let me add Ledger. And for account type and address index you can leave as it is at zero. Now click save and your new Ledger Akala account is set up. However if after clicking on save button you get this error because that's what happened to me several times. Simply close your Akala app on your Ledger, open it again, repeat the process and then it will work. Now having set up a new Ledger based Akala wallet you can check the address of your Ledger Akala wallet here or also by clicking on the account's name right here and here you can copy the address of your wallet. Before recording this video I've transferred 7 ACA to my new Ledger Akala wallet. Now let's see how to confirm transactions using Ledger and transfer ACA from Ledger. Click send. So I'm sending ACA from my Ledger based Akala wallet to my Cryptozilla wallet. Sending 3 ACA. Click make transfer, sign and submit and sometimes this confirmation window pops up. If so, click sign on ledger. Now look at your ledger, check if the receiving address and the transferred amount are correct and if so, approve transaction on your ledger. And after around 10 to 15 seconds the transaction is confirmed. Now sometimes this transaction window does not pop up and you go directly to your ledger to approve the transaction. Now how to import your new ledger Akala account to Polkadot.js browser extension. Again make sure Akala app on your ledger says Akala ready. On Polkadot.js click this plus icon, down here click attach ledger account. From this drop down list select Akala. Here name your Ledger Akala wallet, let me add Ledger. Account type and address index leave as it is with default values and click import account. And now I have successfully added my new Ledger based Akala wallet to my Polkadot.js browser extension. Now I can use my Ledger Akala wallet on Akala web app. Again reminding always make sure your Akala app on Ledger says ready. So I connect my Ledger to Akala app. I was trying to do some token swaps using Ledger but I'm getting this error notification so either I'm doing something wrong or there is some other issue. Anyways I think for now Polkadot.js extension wallet is still the best option for interacting with Akala app 
while a ledger-based Akala wallet is the best option for secure storage of a greater amount of ACA. Now for those of you who are maybe new to Ledger, if you for whatever reason uninstall Akala app from your Ledger and then install the app again, your Ledger will restore the same Akala wallet with the same address as you had before with the existing ACA balance. Or if you connect your ledger to a different computer and will be setting up Akala Wallet using ledger on this computer, again your ledger will restore the same Akala Wallet you had before. Simply this particular ledger device that you are using will always generate the same Akala Wallet on any device because all wallets and their addresses on all blockchains generated by your ledger device are derived from the unique seed phrase of your ledger. It might happen that you lose your ledger or it gets damaged or someone steals your computer where you had your ledger based Akala wallet set up or maybe you forgot the pin code to your ledger. That's still fine. None of that is an unsolvable problem because as long as you have the seed phrase of your ledger, you will always be able to restore all your wallets on all blockchains with their existing balances. Back to Akala, I haven't managed to find a way how to set up a second ledger Akala wallet. I know Ledger allows to create basically unlimited number of EVM based wallets, but for substrate based chains this might work differently. When you try to set up second Ledger Akala wallet, what happens is that the original Akala wallet gets renamed. So it seems Ledger only allows to create one Akala wallet at a time. If I'm missing something, please let me know in the comments. You can also store your DOT and KSM on Ledger. You can also store your Mover and Glimmer, XE Remark and ASTR tokens on Ledger on EVM address. For Mover, Glimmer, XE Remark and ASTR, you would need to install this Ethereum application on your Ledger and then to generate an EVM address using Ledger. Both Mover and Glimmer can be staked on chain using Ledger. The problem is with ASTR because at this moment DEP staking on Astar portal only supports substrate wallets. So for now it is not possible to DEP stake your ASTR that you hold on a Ledger generated EVM address. And also Centrifuge is supported on Ledger, so you can also securely store your CFG using Ledger. Maybe I forgot about some other Dotsama based coins supported by Ledger. If so, please remind me in the comments. Hoping everything was clear. Thanks for watching and see you next time.